Dear listener, have you ever taken a moment to deeply examine your life, not just on the surface, but with a profound introspection? It's easy to get caught up in the hustle and bustle of daily life, to overlook the importance of reflecting on our spiritual journey. Yet, God's Word is not just a collection of ancient texts, it is a living mirror that reflects the true state of our hearts and lives. James 1 verses 23 to 24 vividly illustrates this concept, anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like someone who looks at his face in a mirror and, after looking at himself, goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. This passage challenges us to not merely hear the word but to actively reflect on it and allow it to transform us. When we talk about self-examination through the lens of scripture, we are engaging in a critical process of introspection. It's about evaluating our lives against the divine standards set by God. For instance, ask yourself, is there any trace of self-righteousness in your life? Are there conversations or thoughts that contradict God's teachings? How do your daily actions reflect your commitment to Christ? 1 Corinthians 10 verse 31 provides a clear directive, so whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. This verse isn't just a guideline, it's a call to infuse every aspect of our lives with the purpose of glorifying God. Whether you are serving in your community, singing in worship, or simply going about your daily routine, let every action be an offering to God. In evaluating our lives, it's crucial to serve with pure intentions. If you're involved in any form of ministry, make sure that your efforts are driven by a desire to bring glory to Jesus Christ rather than seeking personal accolades. True service in God's kingdom is about uplifting his name, not our own. The Bible consistently urges us to self-examine. Lamentations 3 verse 40 states, Let us examine our ways and test them and let us return to the Lord. Self-examination is not a one-time event, but a continuous process. 1 Corinthians 11 verse 28 reinforces this practice, everyone ought to examine themselves before they eat of the bread and drink from the cup. This examination ensures that our relationship with God is sincere and that we approach him with a pure heart. Consider what influences you allow into your life. What kind of conversations are you part of? What seeds are being planted by those around you? Proverbs 15 verse 3 reminds us that, The eyes of the Lord are everywhere, keeping watch on the wicked and the good. This means that God's understanding of our actions and intentions goes beyond what is visible to others. There's a warning here, we can easily deceive ourselves and others about our spiritual condition. Luke 6 verse 45 tells us, A good man brings good things out of the good stored up in his heart, and an evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in his heart. This highlights the importance of a genuine heart transformation. Self-examination helps us confront hidden flaws. It's about more than just surface-level behavior, it's about the condition of our hearts. Hebrews for verse 12 reveals, for the word of God is alive and active. Sharper than any double-edged sword, it penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow, it judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. The word of God has the power to pierce through our defenses and reveal our true selves. In Luke 9 verse 23, Jesus calls us to a radical commitment, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross daily and follow me. This involves a daily surrender of our selfish desires and a commitment to follow Christ's example. Taking up our cross means embracing the challenges and sacrifices that come with living a life devoted to God. Prayer is a vital part of this commitment. Mark 1 verse 35 shows us that even Jesus sought solitude to pray, very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house and went off to a solitary place, where he prayed. If Jesus, the Son of God, needed to pray regularly, how much more do we need it? 
Prayer is where we set aside our personal interests and focus entirely on God. It's a moment of humility where we acknowledge that we do not have all the answers and that we need divine guidance. Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7 instructs us, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. As we examine our hearts, let us ask for God's strength to live according to his word. Psalm 139 verses 23 to 24 is a powerful prayer, Search me, God, and know my heart, test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. This is a call for divine introspection, asking God to reveal any hidden faults and to guide us in righteousness. Let's now turn to God in prayer, seeking his help to genuinely examine our lives in accordance with his word. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you today with hearts open to your examination and grace. Your word tells us to measure our lives against your divine standards, and we seek your guidance in this process. Help us to genuinely reflect on our actions, intentions, and attitudes. In 1 Corinthians 11 verse 31, we are reminded, but if we were more discerning with regard to ourselves, we would not come under such judgment. Teach us to judge ourselves honestly, recognizing our shortcomings and seeking your forgiveness. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, empower us to live righteously and to align our lives with your will. We pray for a renewed mind and a transformed heart. Fill us with your spirit, removing worldly desires and refining us with your holiness. Let your word be written on every corner of our hearts, guiding us to live with integrity and sincerity. Help us to be genuine in our faith, avoiding hypocrisy. Let your love and fear of the Lord be evident in our lives. Romans 12 verse 2 instructs us to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. We desire to conform to your will, seeking what is good, pleasing, and perfect. May our lives reflect your glory in everything we do. Help us to set our minds on heavenly values rather than worldly ones. We pray for spiritual maturity, a heart aligned with your will, and a character that honors you. We thank you for hearing our prayer and for your continuous guidance. In the mighty and precious name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. If this message resonated with you, consider exploring more of our content. Our channel offers a range of prayers and reflections designed to deepen your relationship with God and provide guidance through life's challenges. Check out our other videos, which delve into themes of faith, self-examination, and personal growth. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated with the latest content and join a community of believers committed to growing in their faith. Your spiritual journey is important and we're here to support you every step of the way. Thank you for joining us in this moment of reflection and prayer. May God bless and guide you abundantly.